Hey man, how's it hanging? Probably not very good, because you don't have a very big penis. <laughs> I zinged you. Hey, check this out. What's a man against Trump? What's a man against Trump? What's a man against For most of my life, I've been a fool. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been up all night. I uh, probably should have gone to sleep. Because now. Don't you know what a fool? I'm kind of out of it. Ooh, bounty ball! I found a bounty ball! This is Mark Kozlik doing If You Want Blood. It's an album of uh, Bon Scott lyrics. Bon Scott from ACDC. Um, set to his own music, his own acoustic song. He used to be the singer of um, Red House Painters. And you know, when he decided to do this album, uh, he decided to think outside the box and try to, try to force a paradigm shift um, in terms of uh, covers albums. And he, he did, he accomplished that because since then a, a guy did an acoustic album of Crass songs. I'm really tired. And uh, another guy, a guy from Slint did a, an album of acoustic Misfits covers. Oh, holy Christ, I'm tired. Ugh. Um. So this is the new uh, Slayer CD I'm playing right here. So, um, when I first heard this album, I thought probably the same thing you're thinking right now. Um, what were his PR goals? Because face it, anybody can just go and sissy on and put together a list of record reviewers and you know shoot out a press release. But when you're doing something like this, you know, really uh, sort of. I don't want to say thinking outside the box again, but at the end of the day, if you have a, a new idea, something that can really shake up the industry, because there are a lot of strong competitors in the ACDC covers album arena. Um, so what you really want to do, I think the first thing I would do is get together with Mark Kozlik and uh, his uh, advisory board and find out what their goals are, you know, find out what kind of key messages they can agree on. and. Uh, so find out their key messages, decide on those, uh, find out who they want their spokespeople to be, whether it be Mark or, let's see who produced this, uh, Mark. So whether it be Mark or Mark, um, uh, so uh, yes, um, so you want to media train that person because then they go and if they don't want to get them in front of a, a reporter and suddenly, uh, they fall asleep. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, um, this is the only Mark Cosmic album I own. I do have all the Red House painters. They were a good man. Real, um, you know, mellow like this or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's an electric song. Uh, I also have, uh, he, he also put stuff out as Sun Kill Moon. But let's move on. As I was saying, um, you then want to put together a six-month plan, um, you know, deciding when you want to release tracks to the media, or, you know, you would also want to put together, you maybe put together a media tour, a press tour, or at least some telephone briefings with the key media. Um, and I personally think that I would probably, well, if it, this came out a while back, you know, but if it came out this year, I would probably want to fashion a story around how the record industry is dying. It requires new ideas, such as this one. If You Want Blood by Mark Koslick. And a bouncy ball. It's a motherfucking fuck ball. Oh! Hey, I cut it. Oh.
Oh, but then what if it, another thing you gotta keep in mind is if this comes out and like Brian Johnson gets offended because none of his songs are on here and he has a heart attack and and he blames Mark Cosley for it. I mean, that that's a crisis. You need to get some crisis communications going on there. Uh, you, pr you want to have a, a statement ready for the media and he definitely you want to have Mark explained that that wasn't his doing and show emotion and show feeling for Brian Johnson. Don't be defensive. For God's sake, don't be defensive. Make it clear that you did not do this on purpose. You feel for Brian. It was all a mistake. Um, and it would actually... Granted, this came out a long time ago, but these days you'd really want to take advantage of social media. Um, and like, uh, you know, Twitter is a good... You want to be thinking about Twitter and... Uh, Facebook, of course, MySpace, um, not really MySpace, Twitter. I think if Mark Koslick got a Twitter account and said, today I went out and, and, and listened to ACDC, and today I recorded a song, and oh, today there was a shoe, and today, uh, I, uh, my album's out! And then everyone would buy the album. Unfortunately, actually, today it would be different because everyone just steals stuff off the internet. But, uh, but you can, I'll still get you some coverage and I'll write it all up in a status report at the end of the month. <laughs> and then maybe after that we can keep the momentum going as you tour. Each city you tour to, maybe we could have you meet with the local ACDC fan club and talk to them about what Bon Scott's lyrics mean to you. Maybe you could... You could write a... Uh, we could have you, we could pitch a bylined article. You could write a bylined article about the importance of keeping old lyrics alive by putting them in new context. And... Uh, actually a double album because it's two records that he did and he he I guess they put them out as one like two hearts beating as one like a couple in love yeah, I don't know if you've ever been in love but it's like two hearts beating as one because um, when you get married they they actually in the church make you take your hearts out of your body and put them in this blender and uh, I don't you know, I got married in Haiti no, I'm kidding. That was kind of a kind of a half a a Caddyshack reference, but didn't really do it very well. Oh, I'm Johnny Scissors. Well, here we go, and I'm Johnny Scissors. Hi, hi. Let's go see what Henry. Hey, I'm a 13-year P. Oh, there I am in the mirror. I'm a 13-year PR veteran, so that's why I know all these important things. Let's go see what Henry's doing. Henry is a nine-year dog veteran. Oh, there he is. Now I've specifically asked Henry not to speak to the media because he's not media drained, and I don't want him to get in any trouble by saying, you know, no comment or thinking that this is off the record. But uh, let's see if he has anything to say. See, he follows advice good. Oh, he's sniffing you! Ah ha, he said you stink! He said you... I'm sorry. Henry knows I was up all night. He's a very sweet boy. I really like him. Hi. Good boy. <gasps> Hi. Where's the stop button?